relationship and marriage counselors. Good morning. Morning. Good morning, Bella. How Welcome to 2020. It's the what, what so you doing? came. Tenth. Yeah, now. We no, so come. you came. We all came. came. If you do ten days, then you have come. Okay. Because where I work, people did the first day and they left. Yeah. Oh, so all of you in 10 days, clap for yourself. It's Excellency the President, Nanado. Your house is still celebrating Christmas and New Year. Congratulations. Okay. Year Thank of, you. Thank you is for it your return or what? Beyond the return. Now it's beyond. Yeah. Oh, ho, ho. that's what it is. And the babies were left. What? One of the good things about the year of return was that we have citizenship babies. Most of the people were impregnated by it, so we have citizenship How do you babies know? now. Is because it not too early to tell if someone got impregnated. No, I, 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 have, I have the list. Just, you have a list. I have the list. There are two celebrities who have been impregnated no, okay. by right. foreigners. Let's move, okay. let's move on and talk about. I can mention their names. No, I don't need any names. Okay. Okay. I know you fear names. You. I don't yes, fear, fear names. names. I just rather mind my. Oh, shake baby. So on that note, would you or is it advisable to tell your partner what happened in your past? Well, thank you very much. Uh, cherish good morning to descending viewers and listeners. I think that the truth of the matter is that the word secret is something not seen, not known. Nobody should know anything that secret is when it's in you. Immediately you share it out. There's no more secret. And if you are sensible and you live a very godly life, mm -hmm. you have to be very secretive. So a man who tells the wife everything is not godly. Okay. This is someone you have, you've decided to spend the rest of your life with. I mean, I mean... That's it, your best friend. No, that's not true. Whoever tells you that, they are lying to you. Why? Your, your spouse cannot be your best friend. Why can't your spouse be Because when they become your best friend, they become a burden to you in marriage. How? Oh, how? How? Because... And the two shall become... Shall. The word is shall. We, so we can decide not to be one till we die. pertains to me, pertains to you. It's a lie. When I, one. I'm sorry. When I kiss you, my wife will never feel the kiss. It's me kissing. I'm enjoying. Mm -hmm. My personal erection doesn't affect my wife anyway. Okay. So never have that thing that the two shall be one or the two are not one. You have to learn to have secrets in marriage. Look, those of you who believe in the Bible, from Kelly's point of view, mm -hmm. those of you who read the Bible and talk about the Bible. Why his point of view? Why not your point I have not said a thing. I exactly. mean, no. I mean, this is, so they use what, the Bible. What, how, you go ahead. We, the traditionalists, we use both Kelly the Bible and, himself. I mean, he has no defense, but listen. <laughs> they know that they say the second coming of Jesus Christ. Although it's not coming now, it's not yet the time. Mm -hmm. All those they are shouting and telling you is a lie. It's not yet the time. Mm -hmm. But even him who is with the Father doesn't know when he's coming back. Because it is a secret between even God who is going to allow Jesus to come. So God is divine, and in divinity, you should learn to keep secrets. Okay. So, how on earth the life you have lived. Why do you share it as a secret? Bella, saying that, there are some things that they are not secrets, especially when they are living being. In your past life, you had a child. It is not a secret. Mm -hmm. But you had an abortion. It's a secret. Because watch it here. In a hospital, we ask you para what? So likely when we meet you, we doctors or clinicians in court mm -hmm. do interrogation when there are challenges. Even when you've not even come to give birth. They ask you, have you gotten pregnant before? Yeah. So we, even if you've done abortion, on the oath of secrecy and privacy, we need to know. We don't have the right to divulge that information to your spouse. Okay. So if you've had 13 abortion, 20 abortion, 22 abortion, mm -hmm. it does not mean that your spouse should know. Okay. And remember, that fear they put to people, that when you do abortion, you don't have children. It's a lie. It depends on where you go and do the abortion. So those of you who are pregnant and you don't want the pregnancy and you've made a decision to do abortion, go okay. to the right places. So Bella, there are things, living things, where human beings are involved, that the child is not hiding. You have a child with a particular man. Whether he took the child, he refused the child, that is a living thing that must be known. You are not a Ghanaian. You are not a Ghanaian. You are a Togolese from Burkina Faso. And you have come here. They have given you a Ghana name. And when things are happening, everything shows Odega. Mm -hmm. And you are forcing yourself. This is not a secret. Okay. The person must know. So, secrets before relationship. Be careful. And one of the most dangerous things no born one should do uh -huh. is to degrade the man that impregnated you by mistake. Okay. Before you enter into the marriage. No problem. Let, let me come to Kelly and find out. Because, you see, he talk, we're not talking about abortion here. But I like that he used that example. Because there's the belief that if it's not done properly, you might end up getting married and not being able to have kids. And at that point, you have to tell the truth. And so then, finally, you have to tell your man that, okay, 
So I had an abortion maybe 20 years ago, and maybe that's why I'm not able to have kids. And then he's going to get upset with you because you should have told him at the beginning of your marriage or when you were courting that these are some of the mistakes I made in my past. And unfortunately, I don't know what's going to happen, but at least I'm letting you know just in case things don't go right. The man has every right to get angry that you didn't tell him about your past, doesn't he? And same for, um, for women as well, if the man decides to hide something. Thank you, Bella. You see, uh, the foundation of every secret mm -hmm. is sin against who should know. Wait, say that again. The, the foundation of every secret is sin against who should know. Okay. Sin, that's the S-I-N. Yes, S-I-N. It's sin. The foundation of every secret mm -hmm. is S-I-N, sin, against who should know. Explain. I repeat, Explain. who should know. Explain what you're saying. I can't be married to my wife uh -huh. and keep away things that would harm our relationship because I don't want her to know. Mm-hmm. I know the things in my marriage based on the person I chose to marry. I know the things that could destroy our future. Mm -hmm. So what I must do is to find a way of wisdom to communicate what she should know in advance. It's called man communication management. Mm -hmm. Because some things come up in the journey of marriage and if it's not in sync with what she's used to, we're going to have issues and I'm going to spend the rest of my life trying to explain and apologizing for something I should have just played on the put on the, on, on, on the slates on the table from the word go. Mm -hmm. So my point is, what is a secret between a husband and a wife? Yeah. A secret is anything that either of them has done that would affect the future that they have together. <laughs> you mean that now, should divulge? Uh, yes, okay. but then divulging talks about how it's done. Oh my you don't God, just say you don't just you don't just say you know what I had I had twenty abortions before I met you. You know what? Last week when I went for um, a course in, in Dubai, I, 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 I had sex with someone, yeah. and you know what? I I, I realized that um, <laughs> I just needed to tell you mm -hmm. that's stupid. Okay, but. This is the situation. I'm coming from a remorseful point of view that, look, I can't think straight anymore. I'm losing my mind. I did something and I need to free myself of it. And I need you to help me understand. No, spouses cannot to... help you to free your mind. Can he, can he land? George, can no, I, can see, I, I was trying to be quiet. George, can I talk? No, no, no George, can, can I talk? Can he land? When you were speaking, he didn't can I... No, this is not a parliamentary George, selection. George, no, can you just let You don't need a chairman's eye to speak. My goodness. Because I George, can't sit down and let you flow so, like that. No, so, so, if you're speaking basically, here, I'm okay. Basically, no, but he's not okay, so please. You, I'm okay. This is a, this is a civilized interview. No, I, I am too uncivilized. Right. This is a civilized right. interview. I'm too uncivilized. You know, Tom. So, basically, I'm a, 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 a woman who... This is not a hey. guy environment. You see, you have to follow my conversation. You, you, see, you, you can't focus truth on Bella. Truth is, <laughs> a, a woman who has had an abortion and has had issues... Look, it is a sin not to tell your husband this is my biological ah, history because I'm committing the rest of my life to you. And then if I don't have kids as a result of how I know I uh, yeah. is the cause, uh -huh. I shouldn't tell you. Yeah. So my, uh, I mean, I should, I mean, the, the husband should keep believing God. Meanwhile, the wife knows the cause. Come on, so that, that's mean that Talk you, about men to live to, as, as if they are just you are women. Okay with telling your partner Impotent men. All your secrets. Sterile you see, men. Because there are marriages you see, and there are relationships where people who are discharging cocoa and they think it's spent. Talk about them too. Between us. Counselor, please behave. We're I am not behaving. any secrets between us because you and I are going to spend the rest of our lives together. I, I'm, I'm glad he mentioned me always be going biblical with, with I what did I say did. That. Got, yeah. that old, but you referred to it. But what I'm saying is this. It say, the Holy Book says the, the two shall. Shall. The Greek word is shall. The, and the, the shall the means a process. means a word of certainty. No matter how much the process is, it's going to end up being that. But it's shall, a process. This is what it shall That's be. what it says. So the two shall become one, one. flesh. Not just uh -huh. one. One flesh. Mm -hmm. One flesh means I am you and you are and me. You are me. Mm -hmm. Period. No. That joins... Hello. I was playing the scripture. That no. joins us and then that permanently seals our union. No. That's why we say that under that oath, what God has joined together, <laughs> let no man put aside. The deception yeah. of the church. If, if it is God who put it together. Where was it? Because he? there are some people who decide 
Anyway, that's not the story. Yes, some pastors are putting together. Be bold. Now, it's when 2020. we talk about secrets now, I cannot say because I am joined together with my wife, it's, it's a new life, and so my past is gone. Mm -hmm. There are certain parts of my life my wife has to know. Certain I parts. cannot have a child before I met my wife and not tell my wife. Mm. I'm that's, not sure that's of the father. crazy. I'm not sure of the father. Mm -hmm. I cannot, as a man, get married to a woman and she doesn't even know I have a child. Yeah. It's totally wrong. So when, <laughs> per adventure on my, on my death day, on my, at my funeral, they bring some guy from somewhere and say he's my, he's, he's the first son. Yeah. Yes. The Can family you knows imagine him. the devastation that's going to no, go no, no, the on family with knows. the rest of my the children and my wife? But which is easier to handle? The fact that the person is finding out later mm -hmm. or the fact that they find out now the and say, I don't want to be with you again because of that? No. Listen, this is my past. Mm -hmm. The past I feel you need to know based on the fact that I, I consider you to be the person I want to spend the rest of my life with. Okay. However, this is what the situation is. Uh, do you want, you still want me? So you if have you to do say not, it at the beginning? Yes, for example, if I have a child. Okay. In fact, I can be proposing to you now and when, when we start the relationship, I'll tell you, look, just two months ago, I got a woman pregnant and this is the reason why. Mm -hmm. And so, but I want to start a new life with you. But this is what I'm currently dealing with. But Madam Chair, now you, you want to be a you. chair, so I want to lift my hand. No, because no, no, no. You want what, to have what, 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 this is not a parliamentary no, no, select committee. But this this is a new now, life you have to tell you the person a certain level of explanation. All right, counsel. No, no, you are very important. Listen very carefully. Both way. Listen. You see? Yes, I mean, 20 minutes. I promise. I promise viewers. Yes, I promise viewers that last year, 2019, I made a mistake. Oh, no. There were so many issues you I didn't even talk case. about. Go ahead, we're but this year, I've promised them that even things Can that don't answer, 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 answer the me, question. I don't forget. Okay, so oh, but you are things that I didn't even talk about, I'll talk about it. Kelly, listen and learn. Mm -hmm. Watch it here. Really? When you tell me that oh, before marriage, Bella, in the office I sit, girls have gone very, very viral with information thinking that this thing is going to work. Girl, mm -hmm. until you are married, you are not a wife. Okay. So when it comes to what you hold on to secret, especially an ex-boyfriend, a bad experience with the last guy you dated, the last abortion had, he just made a statement and said that, I, I love you, but I just impregnated somebody. My brother, if you impregnate woman, we don't tell. Why shouldn't you Because tell? the full toss is not a bean. No, so you want the baby to be born We count you babies, not full toss. That is why in the traditional circle, we don't count pregnancy as a medium of marriage. Mm. So those of you who are practicing this act, they are pregnant, and you think you are smart, then they go and perform your right, and you stand in public and all those things. Remember that the reason is that we, 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 we don't say you can't get pregnant or you can't have a child, but there's a traditional process we need to take you through because you are two. Mm -hmm. And so there's a process. Don't hide it. Tell them I am pregnant. And before the marriage, they have something they have to do for you. Or they hold on. Not to bring the baby and you because there are three stages in life, which is childbirth, death, and naming ceremony. So, pregnancy. If I've been pregnant another girl, and childbirth, I tell you. Childbirth is the same naming. Are you saying marriage, death, No, I'm and talking about doing marriage. Birth, death, and Yes, what? and the spirit that comes at every event. Uh -huh. When I'm naming ceremony, the spirit that comes are not the same one that comes during marriage ceremony. The two of them don't crash. Okay. So when you are pregnant and the child needs a protection, it means that two spirit comes at the event. So anybody who gets pregnant after marriage, they know the consequences. And all of them know what is going to. I mean, apart from me. But listen carefully. So when you impregnate somebody and I'm dating you, what is the essence of coming to tell you? Yes. And when I met you two months ago, a girl is pregnant for me. Are you normal? Yeah, are you sick? Before I met you, I was with this. No, girl, no, you are not serious. And I'm finding out now that she's pregnant. Yes, you are sick. I owe you. You are sick. You are sick. But what if the woman finds? No, you are sick. Out? Wait, wait. What? If, Don't bring yourself. What if your fiance finds? I just found out that she's pregnant. Hold on, can I ask my question? <laughs> what if your fiance finds out six months later Fine. that your ex-girlfriend is pregnant Hello? and it is your child? So let me explain to you what tradition is. Not their own. That they have lied to us. That when this they say not their own. This one that they say the Lord has put together, and they go to court. That is the Lord. It's not the Lord. Shut up! It was the Lord. <laughs> have you seen the Lord before? It's not the Lord. No, the Lord. Has, this is not Christian God, marriage. Are you saying God? God has not put anything together. He, the last time he put together, he has never put anything again. Are you saying 
he has left the rest for us. I'm telling you, he has. As it is not God putting together. I'm telling you, it's not putting. It's men gathering to put together. this country, God has put together, and the judge, the judge in court can put a sender to it. Not that only you are good. God has put together. It is parents who are putting together. Let me continue. Then why do you ask people to pray? Gazette, Hold on. As for the prayer, is out of character. So so watch it here. So what are we talking about here? No, no, no. Young you man, young man, focus. listen to the, what I'm saying. Follow my conversation. Let's stick to that. Sit down and listen. Land and a grown up is speaking. Let me you continue. See. So, you see. You see. Hold on. I'm in space. It's, it's I'm in space. Land. Now watch it. Yes, I'm in space. Land. Now watch it here. So people have devout secrets. For example, my last boyfriend, whatever I did. Be Bella, remember that when you have four, 400 abortion, if you are told by the clinician that because of your last ectopic, you cannot have a child. Then as you are working, you know you have a deficit disorder already in your mm -hmm. You are a man. All of a sudden as you are working, you go and do your clinical status and you, are, you realize that you are sterile. You are not producing healthy sperm. You are producing The sperm is thick, but all the, the muawa, no head, no leg, you know about it. So right now you know your status and you are on a drag. Mm. Mind you, you don't go on a drag to get married. Be cleared. So you know your status. And this is not a secret. Why? Because it is a tool that will be used in the marriage. So that one you have You to have erected this functioning. The consummation of the marriage is when you are erected to have performance. Mm -hmm. And you have a problem that you can't erect. So you, or you, sorry, that. So you know that you are working on it. Don't attempt marriage. Okay. It is disrespectful to meet Bella. Person, no, no. And let her decide. No, no. It's still. disrespectful and demeaning to meet Bella and tell Bella, girl, I want to get married to you. But as I speak, the Lord is in control of my male organ. And I'm believing that very, very soon, when we get married, you see performance. I am on a drug. <laughs> they say it is dead. No, you don't do that. That's okay. demeaning. The same way like telling somebody that I'm in love with you but I've impregnated somebody else. You don't do that. So I'm saying that you first have to refine yourself. Go for premarital counseling. Be in a state of holding on to your secret. And remember, this is our discussion. A secret before, not during and after. Okay, Kelly, come in here. I, I, I don't know if I agree with some of the things he said. I, I don't want you to agree with me. You can agree with him. One couple came to me for... Marital, unfortunately, when people think about marital counseling or um, you know, marital counseling before they get married, it's so that I tell them what they need to know and then they go and marry. Mm -hmm. But marital counseling or premarital counseling is a process of getting you to know yourself what is ahead based on the peculiarity of the two to know what is coming ahead for them to decide whether they, or not. So it's not for to prepare them to get married, mm -hmm. it's to make them know that. These are the disadvantages and advantages of what you're going to see based on my assessment of you two. Yeah. That's what premarital counseling is about. Mm -hmm. That said, a couple came to me and said they want to get married. The, wo the woman has HIV. Mm -hmm. The man is free, but the man doesn't know. And I said, how long have you been dating this man? Two years. Have you slept with him? A couple of times. When do you want to get married to him? In the next two months. Now, how do you, how do I join such a couple as a gazetted person, authority? I can't. Mm -hmm. Why, how do I keep that a secret yeah. and pretend like I don't know and join the couple? What, how, how? It's easy. My conscience. Borrow my head. Me. So I told her. I, I, I'm not against your HIV status. Anybody can, I can have HIV. Anybody can have it. Yes. Even this one like this way, he's, he can have <laughs> HIV. You see? Because the way he's going, you say he can have it. No, it's not I can have it. I have. So my po I, I can see. Yes, that's tell them. So, you so, have HIV. Yes, and he knows. You are HIV positive. Yes, and he knows. No problem. Ah, so, why are you afraid to say it? My point is Flo. If you really want to marry this man, uh -huh. If he leaves you, he leaves you. No. But if you want to say you are exercising faith that it will be better, let that faith work for you before you marry him. Mm. Be cleansed of your HIV status if you know it's going to be an issue for him. Because if, if he knows it's fine, yeah. you can marry. I mean, I, I clap for people who, who do that. There's no harm in that. I support it. Have I, I said they're having I, sex I already? Join that, yeah. Your that conversation marriage. is that the people but are already having sex. I am talking. 
So my point is this. No, I'm confused. Let the man know you before be he homo. gets married. Be homo. That, oh, I have this. Are you willing? Another one is this genotype stuff. How do you hide your genotype from the person you want to get Bella. married to because you're in love with the person? Bella, interjection. Because okay. you want to... No, no, You've no. gone into if, my area. If, There's no, a problem no, no. with what he's if saying. You can he land? Oh. Thank you. If and you want lands, to marry... If you hey, Bella, marry, is that what you have become? Oh, my goodness. If you want this is why I don't like to follow with, orders. With, 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 with an incompatible genotype. Yeah. Um, 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 sorry. Um, what do you call incompatible that, genotype? That is, let the person know. This is what we are believing God for. So allow the thing to be... I mean, I mean you cannot say AS and, F, um, and, and SS and should get married. Should married. So, but if you insist, then let that faith work for you. Faith. Before you enter into this the marriage. This is foolishness. This is not faith. This is foolishness. You can't keep it as a secret. You can't keep your medical record as a so secret because... Some can be secret. You, you have, no. There are some medical records that should be kept as secret. You cannot keep your medical this record as a secret to your spouse you are Hold married on. to. Hold we are yet to so marry. Be careful. This one says, what? hello, good Yet to or not, it's wrong. Bella, the thing is, past secrets always come back to haunt you. It's not always. But I still won't share my secret. Franca from Nungwa. Eh, keep it. Good morning, guys. New day on TV3 is always a new day. I'm shoelace doing the watching inside a break happen. For me, I think it's good to tell your new partner about your past because she has to know so no? she wouldn't repeat the same. How? Okay. Good morning, Nana. Uh, I'm Nana. A secret is a secret, but some secrets are meant to be shared with whoever you There is no more secret. Good morning, TV3, New Day crew, and to you, Berla, and your panelists. It is not bad telling your secrets in your relationship. Once you two value your relationship, you will have to work on anything that went wrong. If there are still traces, and then you move on. My name is Lanyan Christopher, watching from the Northern Region, Fandai. Bella, it's not every secret you need to tell your partner. You regret it, letting some secrets out. Thank Please, you. some things are better kept than saying. Because George is going to be good this 2020. Lord, send the past. Hi, Bella. I think keeping a secret from the past is not bad. If only that secret won't affect your relationship. And this one says, good morning, Bella. Kanza Lutra should behave in the studio. Tell him. He should be tolerant for Kelly to speak. If he does not agree... He should um, leave the, the studio. Biblical, biblical sessions of Kelly, that's fine. But he should not be interrupting anyhow, unless, of course, he's an atheist. Rumors GJ4. You see yourself. Um, they are calling you an atheist. Whom. I'm enjoying the program. Okay. This Agbe Koin to whom? Okay. What? That's an what error. I said. That's an error. How you call Agbeko and Suhum for what? I said Agbeko and Suhum. He should go to a, a sugar company. What is oh, Suhum? Oh, that's what you mean. <laughs> I'm Christian from oh, goodness. Suhum. Some secrets have to be told and some need not be told because your secrets are uh, made to who you are. For example, every businessman has a secret. Which makes yes, a that's a trade secret. It's not right to keep a secret from your partner. It's very bad. Larry from Nigeria. Wow, this is a difficult question to answer. But hey, I think you shouldn't disclose all your secrets to your partner because if you do, um, and the, in times of difficulty in the relationship, it can painfully be used That's right. You. Your mother is I a witch. I with a girl who used my secrets against me, and it's still very painful. Jay from Nima. Good morning, Bella. I'm confident from Kone Shanghai. I think when you have a secret and you're married, you should tell your husband because marriage is for better or for worse. When you keep it, you might destroy your marriage in the near future. Marriage is not for better and for Bella, worse. That's not true. I am Denny from a dental. It's I for better. To Let her read the thing. Sometimes it's not. But I think the best way to approach it will help. My guy met me when he was in a relationship with someone that he didn't want to move on with. Unfortunately, the lady got pregnant for him, and he told me about it, and I'm cool. I think if he hides that from me, and I get to know myself, then there'll be a problem. So it's good to share. What's her name? Good morning. Didn't add her name. Okay. TV3, she might be a fanty. My very counselor, George, cool, I always cool. love your show and your comments. I don't actually she say She might be a fanty. ...of sharing every secret. Nah, there are certain secrets that if you dare expose them, um, the relationship is already gone before you know, no matter the explanation. Hello, TV3. You are the best. Bella, I'm waiting you know, for us to marry. If I add your name, let me know. I'll read the comments on <laughs> uh, Facebook. He says he's waiting for what? Okay, let's move on. Oh, so you have, a, you have a you have a secret admirer. Let's just say that yes. okay. I need this waiting to marry Bella. Oh, no, from the States or from the UK. Mm -hmm. First of all, he got deported. And that's because maybe he went to jail for some crime that he committed. But he's calm. He says, I've turned a new leaf. I want to start life afresh. And then he meets a young woman that he falls in love with. Do you think that he should tell her that this is what happened in my past? Or should he... No, not, not immediately. It's my den. You see, not it's my den. Let the relationship It's my den. Oh, oh. Do you okay. even know about it? Let the relationship grow. Let the relationship to grow to a point of confidentiality uh, where he can look up to the future and say, this is where I'm going with this person. Okay. So you should you, say... You don't you say it instantly. Tonight. No. You don't, you don't say, oh, you know what? I masturbated last night, but I still love you. Let us start a relationship. That's, that's an insult to the person. Okay. Take it easy. Grow the relationship. 
relationship. Bella. Let the person get to know your weaknesses naturally and then begin to synchronize your hearts. Bella. You don't go in there are too many things anything. that I want to address quickly. Uh, when Kelly was speaking, I mean, premarital counseling is not when you have a boyfriend and you want to know whether you can get married. Right. Mm. That's wrong. What is it? Premarital counseling no, no, is no, no. what you right. want to discover yes. who you are. That is personal counseling. So, no. That's not premarital no, counseling. Uh, no, please, please, mm -hmm. please. What you're Once, saying no, is personal no. counseling. Personal counseling is under general counseling where you want to have counseling for everything. But we're yeah, talking exactly. about when you have an intent for marriage, you don't bring two people because you're not a couple. Oh, yes. Mm. So you are coming as that an individual. You counseling. are coming as an individual for, mm. for premarital counseling, which is where you do, you build what we call the True. So you know yourself, you know that you, as we speak, you are this, you are that. So he came up with, with, with the electro forces of an individual. Where you have ears, AA, and whatever. In the first place, as you are working as individual, Bella, you know your electro forces, that you are AS, you are SC, you are SS, you, are, you know. So in your dating planning, your fraternization with whatever comes your way, in the first place, is part of your dating conversation. Okay. This is a health status. And we teach you how to say it. Mm. I thought you said you keep it a secret. We teach you. This is. I'm saying that you yeah, you I need you need something that you want to match with. Yeah. I am AS for that matter. I want to get married to an AE. Mm -hmm. So whether the guy comes, he's tall, he's dark, it's he's a banker, not... he's a ward. Mm -hmm. How do I know his clinical status? Mm -hmm. I don't need to go to the hospital. So the first thing is that the best partner to be married, whether we secret or without secret, is you the individual knowing who you are. So when you, you don't come to my office, all right? You don't come to my office with somebody to discover yourself. Then when I tell you to work, then you think that I'm disconnecting the two of you. Come as an individual. People who come to my office, when they say we've been dating for 10 years, I've never met them together before. Mm. And I'm saying this before God and man that I have met them singles and some of the things they have told me. It has been with me till I die, but I give them chance to share if they think it's important. There are some that they think is not. There are some secrets you have to die with and go to hell. For example, you are not married what and you married? dated me. Mm -hmm. You dated me. Mm -hmm. And never somebody has met you and you want the person to know the level. You know. Some girls go that way because whilst we were here sinners, Christ died. They think now they are in Christ. So they need to leave crisis for people to manage. So they tell you, no, me. Let me tell you, my last guy was counselor Lutrot. Even before he became a counselor, I was the one who was saying, and things didn't work for us. Our last two abortions, I made a decision to myself that the next guy that will come to my life, ask for sex, lie, 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 lie. Do you know why he's saying that? He's telling you no sex before marriage. Yeah. But the way you put the information makes you a fool. Just see what you just gave. You just devoured a lot of issues. You told the guy I was your last guy you are dating. You told the guy I've impregnated you, you have aborted. You told the guy now you don't want to have sex again because of me. So even if the guy doesn't want to marry you, Bella, you have become a social stigma in his diary. Okay. Anytime he sees you, get away. Get away, get away, get away, get away, get away. Then he's rapping on you. So secrets before marriage must be kept. Your husband shouldn't know your ex-boyfriend. Okay. Your wife shouldn't know your ex-girlfriend. Anybody who asks you a question, hey, so we have been here for two years. You've never spoken about your ex-relationship. Who did you date the last time? And girls, watch me. Those of you who are not correct, and you are having good relationship with your bosses, and you can tell your current boyfriend, ask my boss, me tell you, so I'm not sorry. Although we've been having relations for two years now, if it's not him, I don't have a job to do. Boo, will be. Can he be here? Okay, all right. So don't share this. Thing. This is all time will allow. Uh, <laughs> can you imagine? Look at what you've done with all the time. Well, once time, time is arrived, right, they are sucking us from the studio. Oh, look, look, look at, look at what 0277 is my number. Uh, I'm responsible for my Kelly comments. Says you should say it. Bella, Hello. please, with all respect and permission. Pardon? With all respect and permission, thank you for catching my eye. Yeah, but can I at least finish? I thought you were please? rapping to suck us from the studio. Well, I am doing that. So now. then, as I leave, I'm so responsible for my comments. Said that you should tell them, but at least you should know when. Your hair is dry. Wait. Is. So I'm you responsible for my comment. comments, and my co my contacts are straightforward. Zero two seven seven. Don't tell anybody the secret that my Toby do. Zero two seven seven. Six zero nine. Six four four. Write it slowly. Can't play. Zero two seven seven. Six zero nine. 644. And uh, get ready and join the council of the fan. We need a president who has for me. So on Instagram, I'm um, Kelly Daniels Office. <laughs> Kelly Daniels Office on Instagram. It's just a simple Kelly K E L L Y. Kelly Daniels Office. So go send me a, a DM and let's talk. Uh, my WhatsApp number is 055 313. <laughs>
055-313-5074. But on okay, Instagram, Bella is here. I am Kelly Daniels Office. Please, let's get chatting. They are forgotten. They are forgotten. Solve forgotten. issues and not just... It's okay. Please. It's okay. They let's are forgotten. They are forgotten. Kelly Daniels okay. Office. The number again is 055. The tournament says that if your partner is your life like this, why not? If he or she loves you, they will still be with you. It is better for your partner to hear those secrets from your own lips than from somewhere else. But there are some secrets that must be in a cupboard. That's good. They have uh, to be in the but cupboard. not all, because you can insult you with it when there's a misunderstanding. That's and true. Friends, it's, uh, then you have a problem. You shouldn't be hey. telling. You shouldn't be telling them because you've noticed what the problem is. Yes. Nathaniel Doxy says that yes, yeah, you have to know everything because if you don't hear every bit of it, you might be loving someone who might be kissed because of her past act. Well, that's a Mami normal case. Orlando says it's no big deal, but first, and they later use it against you. Yes. So why don't we get on with it and forget about the past? Okay. Marvin and Clarity says charity says me. I won't share because my secret is my power. Well, that's true, says, though. If it has a direct bearing on your presence, then you should. Otherwise, mm -hmm. forget it. Mm -hmm. I think you can, but you should be very careful because it can bring misunderstandings and even bring a breakup. Better breakup. Isaku Sadie says that you can share some secrets with your partner, but not all secrets. You must leave the past behind and move on as life partners, uh, as love partners. To say, but if they insist to reveal it to them, good morning. Adelaide says that not with a too jealous partner. For me, I wouldn't share due to what I have experienced. It's not advisable at all, according to Magdalene Brown. And Desiree Nakar says, Why the stress? Thank you. Whatever is termed a secret must remain a secret. Thank you. Uh, can come from money. Life and anything can happen. Telling your partner your past secrets love is that you're Thank cool. you. Mariam says, Never, he might use it against you. Papa Saint, not the best. People can only be seen to forgive. Never forget, That's also, a good especially thing. when it has got to do with a jealous partner, the past should be left mm. in the past. Mm. Modesta says it's better for your partner to know about the secrets than he hearing it outside. It's not true. Let them hear Peter outside. Lockton says you can share, but some you can share some, but not all, because sharing uh, is going to put better kept under the carpet. And final ones, okay. Uh, uh, your past should remain your past. Akusia Santua. Into says Jesus Christ keeps secrets after healing. Go, you are healed. Do not tell anyone. So why should you also... No, but when he healed the leopard, he has where well, are the nine. So there are times he wants you to tell. So that scripture, be careful. There are theologians okay. sitting here. As you Peter says, I don't think it's necessary. Let bygones... Hey, you're written bygones. It's bygones. Okay, I mean, let's bygones be bygones. So let this is anyway, this is SS uh, English. Pastor George Lutrot and Kelly Daniels. Thank you, Bella. Thank you, Bella. Uh, we have an interaction with the contestants of Mentor Reloaded. And also, Miss G has some excuses for us as well. So keep watching. It's TV3 New Day. Because I came here to talk. Beating me is not a thing. Let them hear me talking. So, ladies and gentlemen, secrets are very, very important. And once you decide to go secret, remain secret. Die with a secret. And let it be a secret for you. Be careful whatever you are doing today. But seek for counseling first so that you can. 0277 609 644. 0277 609 644. That's the best. Especially those ones that will not come and affect the marriage that you have. I love you all. We're still gathering ourselves for the fund, uh, Councilman Lutrot's fund, uh, fund club, and we are looking for secretaries, presidents, and patrons. If you are interested, just drop me your name on social media. Go publicly, 0277-609-604. Keep your secret. Die with it. If you have cheated on your husband, don't go and say it. Oh, don't. Keep it. Keep it. Keep it. Keep it. If you have cheated on your husband, don't think it's 2020. Don't go and say it. Oh, don't keep it. Keep it. Keep it. It's not confession time. Your husband is not Christ. Mukweye. She. You know? What about each other? I'm not here for you to agree with me. Don't be Kelly Daniels. 0277-609-604. Keep a life of secrecy. And you'll be very godly. Bye for now.